Hi, my name is Roger, and my channel is about being a musician and all things surrounding a musician, including some studio work. And today I want to show you a plugin. A plugin that is not new. I had bought it maybe one and a half years ago. But I want to show you what it's all about. And I love it and hate it. <laughs> The plugin I'm talking about is this one, Sugar from Process Audio. I have to tell you, I'm not sponsored in any way. I don't have affiliate links for this plugin or anything like that. But I saw on their webpage that they have 50% off during the summer and they also have a 30 day free trial if you want to check it out yourself. This plugin is sort of an enhancer. It enhances the signal with parallel processing done in the background. Of course, you can manipulate and change things to your own taste. I have a session up here. It's the Roger That Song of 2021, of course. And I have inserted a few instances of sugar. For example, on my lead vocal. Here it is without the sugar. The only thing I know is that I don't know it. And with the sugar, it sounds like this. The only thing I know is that I don't know. A bit crispier, a bit closer. I like it. The plugin looks like this. We have four bands that we can adjust, and every band has two settings. And you should always try both of the settings for each band to see what suits the material you want to use sugar on. So let's listen to the vocal again and I will pull down every band except this band so you can hear the difference between Shine and Excite, which this band is. So let's listen to the Shine. The only thing I know is that I don't know it. And Excite. The only thing I know is that I don't know. You can hear that the Excite and the Shine have, dif have different characters. In this case, I like the Excite more, but that depends on the material. So in the low, we have Thick and Punch, then Warm and Broad, Shine and Excite, Yin and Yang. Uh, the plugin also have an input fader, output fader, a saturation, high pass and low pass filter. And this is a plugin you will overuse. You will overdo it and ruin your mixes. At least I did when I first got it. So let's adjust this on this vocal. Let's see what we have. The only thing I know is that I don't know enough at all. Everywhere I go, I will start to. The only thing I know. Is that I don't know enough at all Everywhere I go I don't know if that's too much or not, so let's listen in context of the song. The only thing I know Is that I don't know enough A cool thing with this plugin is that we have a wet inject knob. The wet inject knob changes all bands at once. So let's listen if we we'll have it low and then raise it. The only thing I know is that I don't know enough at all everywhere I go. Something like that maybe. I will come back to the distortion in just a little bit. I have sugar on my drums sugar on my drums. So here is my drum sub, drum bus, whatever you would call it without sugar. It sounds like this. The only thing I know and with it the only thing I know. and what I did here was that I had the punch, the broad equal a little less of the excite because the excite made my drums harsh but i still wanted a little bit and a little more of the gin because it brought my snare drum and hi-hat closer 
in the mix. Let's go to the distortion. I have a parallel bus set up here with a sugar inserted on it. And I've used the distortion on this. So let's listen to this in solo. That's distorted. It's pretty cool. The distortion have three different settings. We have drive, distort and crush. I have it on the crush setting now. But let's listen to the drive. A little distorted. Really cool on vocals and bass and even the whole mix if you want it. Distort. And crush. You can hear that the kick drum is most crushed. Therefore, I also have an EQ inserted before the sugar just to pull down the lows a little bit so it doesn't get too heavily crushed. Let's listen to the drums and then I will raise this distortion parallel thing. That's cool. Without it... Uh, and with it... This plugin have another trick up its sleeve and that is that it can be used in MS mode, mid side mode. And I have that on my master sub, master bus, two bus, whatever you would call it. Then every band of those four bands turn into two. One is for the mids that only affect the mid of the signal, the center of the signal, and one is for the side that all only affects the stereo image. What I did here was that I chose the thick, I raised it in the center, but none on the sides. The warm and broad is pretty equal between the mid and the side. The shine is a little bit more in the mids than the sides. And the yang, the air, the roof, the top is only nearly on the side of the signal. Without it first and then I put it in. I think this distortion is a little bit too loud. Let me lower that a little bit. Where is it? There it is. So let's lower that a little bit. And we can listen to it again. First without sugar and then with it. So there's a few ways how you can use sugar in your mix. So this plugin is a real betalizer, but it's a dangerous betalizer because it can really ruin your mixes if you overdo it. You know, it can also spice up your mixes if you're careful about it. I don't use this plugin mainly when I'm mixing. I use equalizers, compressors, reverbs, distortions, all kinds of things. But when I want some extra spice, some extra crisp, or when I need to rescue something in a mix, I go for this plugin. So I, I actually love this plugin. But why do I hate it? I don't hate it. But it annoys me that I don't know what it's doing. It's doing some parallel thing in the background, which I don't know what it is. And I'm the type of guy that wants to have control over everything. Probably some OCD problem with me. But this does great things and I don't know what it does. I don't like plugins where you just twist a knob and it sounds different or better or anything. I want to know what I'm doing. This I don't. It just sound better mostly. I should rate this plugin also, and I will give it 6 out of 7 that's. Why not 7? Two things. First of all, it's so easy to overdo it. It's so easy that you ruin your mix. Also, for me, I think the low mid bands are too wide. Sometimes I want to warm things up, but it, it's too wide, so I can't control it. Otherwise, it would have been 7. 
check it out for yourself. If you have it, or if you want to check it out, please leave in the comments what you think about it and how you use it so we can all learn from each other. I want to learn from you how you use this plugin. You have a 30-day free trial from their website. i link it down below, of course. Thank you so much for watching. If you have other studio things, other plugins you want me to check out or do a video about, leave that also in the comments. The Swedish word of today is sugar. Sugar in Swedish is socker. Socker. Until next time, Roger that.